Hey, so a quick recap. Uh, I didn't manage to do hybrid autopilot the first time around, but got some help from some friends on YouTube and some friends on Facebook to figure out what it was. And unfortunately, I already had waited too long to try that out. So just waiting a week, but it really just half an hour or so would have fixed the issue. But uh, I promised I'd try it with the workarounds and fixes that the guys from Facebook suggested not the guys from facebook the, the the community people posting on facebook i didn't contact facebook about the issue uh anyway so this was the issue so it's uh it said something went wrong and you can do this again or you can contact your sysadmin and it turns out according to um philip is this guy's name uh that you just need to wait a bit longer uh, than half an hour so the Azure AD Connect Sync can tell Azure about the device that you've just joined to the domain. It's it's a bit confusing. Um, Michael Niehaus has a post about all that as well, which is, uh, is I'm going to cover in a, in a second video because I want to try this um, this sort of annoying workaround to just disable the user enrollment status page because that apparently will fix the issue. And then in the next video, I'm going to try a script method of speeding up Azure AD Connect Sync, do a delta essentially, when a new device is is found in, in no you. So we'll, we'll try that in the next video. So, but like, subscribe, and, and we'll, um, we'll get that video to you shortly. But for this one, I'm going to disable the user ESP and see if that fixes it. So I'll need to grab the uh, autopilot information and put that in the portal. Uh, because it needs to be done around about the same time that you're testing this, otherwise the issue doesn't present. So I'll just do that now. So it's uh, it's Shift F10, yeah, function Shift F10 in my environment just to get to the command prompt. Okay, so we'll wait for that to uh, to import into the into the portal. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll head over to the portal and take a look at what we have. So. Um, in devices and role devices. Deployment profiles, this hasn't changed in the previous video. We've got this hybrid autopilot demo, which uh, I am going to use. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do differently this time is that I will create a configuration profile to disable the user and enrollment status page. So let's just do that now, get that assigned to a group, and then we can put the device in the group when it arrives. So over in devices and then uh, configuration profiles and create a profile. We are going to do a Windows panel later, template, and it's going to be a custom. This is uh, to skip user status page. So there we go, we've got this um, this OMA URI here. And we set the dish type to Boolean and the value to true. So we'll save that next. And I'm going to deploy it to, I'll deploy it to all devices right now because that's gonna simplify me getting this tested and I'll remove it before the next video where I'm gonna test out a different method. So if, uh, hopefully, hopefully I remember. Um, right, so we'll create that and see that go away and do things. Uh, it says assign a profile, sure, I just did that. So just double check before I forget. So assign to a group, all good. So uh, heading over to Autopilot again. Check our devices list, and um, we've got this not assigned one here, which I assume is the VM that I've that I've got ending in four zero. Quickly check ending in four zero. All good. Yeah. So he is there. Um, give it a few seconds to assign. It should be automatically assigning due to the uh, the group membership. Um, so we'll give that a few seconds. Okay, so that's just turned to assigned now. 
That took about eight minutes. So let's uh, let's see if this machine will let me sign in without the user ESP. Give it a quick reboot. Okay, so it says welcome to get modern, which is a good start. It means Autopilot has done something. Let's log in as Lucy and see if she can sign in. Uh, maybe it's Lucy.tester. There we go. Okay, let's see if she can sign in. So all we've done with this test is to remove the user um, uh, ESP. I paused there because I don't. I don't remember how I've done that. It, it's. I only did it ten minutes ago. But I essentially created that that uh, OM URI in, uh, config and deployed it to all devices. So I hope it does actually apply before before the device logs in. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I have a feeling this is going to fail. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so I'm not going to make you sit through 30 or so minutes of, of this timing out to get to this stage. Um, obviously, it's failed again, and we can either try again, or we can contact the sysadmin, which is really good news. Um, I think the, uh, the, the, the issue now is, we thought we knew what it was, what the issue was, and it was a timing thing with the Azure AD Connect sync, and apparently removing the user uh, CS, uh, ES, ESP will fix that. So I think I did that. Um, what I think I'll do next is try the script method, which Michael Niehaus recommends uh, to to kick off a Delta sync um, when a new device is detected in an OU, because that'd be pretty fun to try. And then if that doesn't work, then I've obviously got a different issue and I need to actually go into some troubleshooting and uh, and figure out what it is. So um, for now, yeah, that's all I've got. Something went wrong. See you next time.